Last time I left you with a leaky heat break and a dead thermistor. So it wasn't the thermistor, after all it was the motherboard that had issues. Both the nozzle and the bed would go into thermal runway protection and that's how I figured out is the motherboard. But I couldn't open the 3D printer because the warranty sticker would be void. So I reached out to support and they were mighty helpful. They sent me a replacement motherboard and a bunch of other parts like harnesses and bands and uh, small PCB boards. However, changing the motherboards wasn't the easiest of task. As you can see on these three wires, these are the most difficult to remove and put back in because you cannot see where they connect when you remove them because of the plastic. In addition, you get reflections, as you can see here, the reflections in these uh, red circles when you take pictures to see subsequently later. So on the left side, we have the old motherboard and on the right side, we have the new installed motherboard. And here I'm trying to figure out if I did the installation of those three wires correctly, which I did not. On the left, you can see the actual plastic that's covering the pins and you cannot see where they are connected. But support and online people were very helpful, giving me the pinouts where these wires are supposed to be connected. And I'll display these at the end of the video. And here I'm going slowly to see or show how the light reflects the pins. And right there I'm trying to remove the plastic and that's when I get to see where the third wire connects. On the right hand side is the actual new motherboard installed. As you can see it's very difficult to remove the plastic and sometimes it's better to heat it up with uh, some sort of a heat gun or rework station. I put my rework station on the lowest possible temperature to make sure I do not melt the actual wire or wire shielding. Even though I had the wires incorrectly set up, it still worked and it was heating up. Well, after that, I decided to unplug it and continue installing the rest of the wires and then give it a test. When I decided to give it a test 3D print, I could see there's a problem. The actual filament was not being extruded, but check this out. No, the extruder don't work. Not cool. Initially I wanted to take the shroud off to make sure that I'm gonna get the PCB board to take everything apart and reconnect and I wanted to do it properly. But I just saw right there that the stepper controller wire was disconnected and I have disconnected it trying to look at it and see what the problem could be. After I reconnected the stepper controller wire, I decided to 3D print my stress test and my stringing test, the tetrahex. And I'm 3D printing the tetrahex with a 0.6 millimeter nozzle and a retraction of 8 millimeters. This is PETG and is very stringy at retraction 8. This is what you're getting. And then I cleaned it up and then I wanted to show you how large this thing is and I put there a roller and a 20 by 20 millimeter cube. What I wanted to show you is the pinouts that I received from support and this is actually how the wires are supposed to be connected and I received the support documentation on how to connect these three wires and I inverted the colors because on a white background if you have a full screen it may be a super bright screen and I wanted to protect your eyes so if you would be kind enough to let me know if you like the inverted colors or you like the white backgrounds because I kind of try to protect your eyes especially if you watch at night on a phone or on you know a large screen or TV when you get this super bright white it's not really satisfying so let me know in the comments below and subscribe if you can but until then I be Demon Amis farewell and adieu